unless something fundamentally changes in the AI space, mm. then I'm still going to maintain a bullish bias overall to these sorts of stocks. My view is that AI is is only really still just getting going for good or bad, whatever way people want to view uh, artificial intelligence. But it's here and it is going to have an impact. It already is. And so, and stocks like NVIDIA are benefiting from that. Charlie, a lot of people do ask me from time to time to look at NVIDIA. Obviously, a lot of people are paying attention to it. Um, so let's dig into the chart of NVIDIA and see what you think, what you make of it. Yeah, uh, what can you say about a a, a, a stock like an Nvidia when I'm coming yeah. out to a, a a monthly chart there? Yeah, uh, it's of course it's highly bullish. Um, the difficulty with a a, a, a chart like this is people are going to start wanting to yeah. predict when it's going to make its top and all of that, and it is very difficult because you can look at that and say, well, yeah, it may well be stretched on certain measures. Um, but it doesn't you – know, five months ago, it looked stretched, and yet it yeah. then went and uh, doubled again in price. So you have to be very careful of trying to mm. pick tops in a market. But so at the, you know, as far as I'm concerned, um, I unless something fundamentally changes in the AI space, mm. then I'm still going to maintain a bullish bias overall to – these sorts of stocks. So, of course, there may well be pullbacks in the short term, but I would still personally be, you know, if I was trading them, I'd be, I'd still be buying them on pullbacks because uh, my view is that AI is is only really still just getting going for good or bad, whatever way people want to view uh, artificial intelligence. But it's here, and it is going to have an impact. It already is, and so and stocks like Nvidia are benefiting from that so um yeah we could get corrections we've talked about you know the stock markets overall have potentially having corrections at some point mm. but for me if there are any corrections coming in nvidia stock um then i'd be uh wanting to look at buying we've got these highs here i've gone yep. out to a weekly chart just around the 100 dollar mark so 100 dollars wouldn't be a bad zone I know that's a 30% correction for Nvidia stock, but stocks move uh, yeah. in bigger percentage run uh, uh, that's right. uh, gains and losses than the indices anyway. So um, whether it can do that is another matter. Um, but um, but yeah, personally, um, I'd still be looking for um, uh, pullbacks to get long if uh, if it did do that. Presumably, I mean, the bounce we've had after that big drop that it had a few weeks ago mm. in late June, then it had a bounce which looks corrective, looks rather overlapping in a three-way structure. I mean, if it took out that recent low, if it took out maybe 120, something like that, or 125, something like that, 120, uh, would, where would you expect it to drop down to? Well, overall, I know I've got some moving averages on here, but you know, they're, that, they're that catching up with the, they're catching up with the price right? yeah, yeah but i i would quite like to see it down in the hundred dollar zone i think that uh -huh. would be a lovely zone um, yeah down psychological level as well and correct yeah yeah so um that's what that's the zone that i would look towards technically uh on this chart so mm -hmm. technically i don't have too many other errors yeah you've got a minor level at around about 115 uh that it could stop around there but as a as a as a big level um, those those highs that we put in back in sort of March time of this year um, are quite significant. So if it could do a larger correction, that would be great. That area. Yeah, there is that load that was made in April. That's going to be very important for NVIDIA to protect, isn't it? If it's going to maintain the uptrend, it needs to remain above that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It, it wouldn't. You wouldn't want it to see it taking that out because then we could be in for a major. Some or we, we would be in some sort of major correction. So yeah, I don't even know if it will get to a hundred. But yeah, I'm just saying if it did, I think that would be a great buying opportunity zone in that area. And I have to say zone because price mm. doesn't always come down exact. It might yeah. stop at one hundred and one. Or it might go to ninety-eight, <laughs> you know. It, you know, yeah. but it, that's the zone. Uh, sure, be looking for technical technical uh, buy setups if it gets into that zone.
And of course, uh, we have to also monitor the April low as a level of risk, because below yeah. that, below that April low, I think it is uh, that then the door opens to significant downside risk if yeah. that level was taken out. Which, as yeah. you said, perhaps it may seem unlikely. I don't know, guys. Make sure you go ahead and uh, sign up and try out Charlie's trading service, charlieburtontrading.com forward slash LT Gold. When you go on that link, please also apply this promo code LT Gold, where basically the price drops to only one pound, approximately one dollar thirty, uh, for about thirty days, uh, one month. Go ahead and check it out. I think it's I think it's definitely something you'll enjoy, you'll like. Thanks very much, Charlie. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.